Okay, guys. Hey, so um, this week we're going to be making a cute little cartoon TV. So go ahead and make a cube. And then I think I'm going to make it like 10. Let's just start with a 10 by 10. Might as well. Um, you can give it all the same divisions as well, just like that. And then put Y to 5 so that it's sitting on the ground. All right, so let's just go ahead and scale this guy a little bit. I want it to be a bit more thinner and a little bit more wider to be more like a TV. There we go. All right, so next thing we're gonna be doing is making the cute little buttons that you see on a TV. So let's go into face mode, click these uh, four faces, extrude it and offset in. Let's go like 0.4. And then do edit mesh, circularize, adjust your twist if it needs to be adjusted. Mine usually does for some reason. Um, and then let's see, almost. Looks good. You can select those inside faces, extrude, and then push that thickness out. Let's go point five that's easy all right there's our first button so we're gonna do that for two more buttons right here and then we'll do a small square button down there so um extrude offset in you can um choose to go bigger or smaller if you want different size um buttons i'm gonna go for a smaller one in the middle might mean that you need to change your twist a bit more and then extrude and just up that thickness to 0.5. All right, last one. Extrude, offset in. And then edit mesh, circularize, adjust your twist. And then extrude again. And up that thickness to point five all right looks good so um the next guys let's select these four extrude and offset in to 0.5 and then extrude again and then just up the thickness to like 0.4 ish oh we have a little like on button type thing oh it's so cute all right let's make the screen so go into face mode Select any face that is not related to those buttons, and then we will extrude and offset in by probably like 0.5 would be good. And then extrude again, and let's put that thickness in probably like 0.2. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and make the feet. So select probably those guys and then do the same on the other side, making sure they're even. Extrude, offset those guys in by, let's do like 0.2 and then extrude and up their thickness so they touch the ground. Maybe do like one. Actually, I think I'm gonna do like 1.25. Yeah, that's cute. All right, let's go ahead and make the cute little antenna thing on the top. So grab a sphere, let's push it up here. We're gonna need to scale that guy up. And then I'm just gonna go down a little bit, push a little bit more into the mesh. You can scale up the other sides as much as you need to. And then let's make some um, antennas. So grab a cylinder, let's change the radius to 0.1. And then let's scale up. That should be good size. Let's duplicate that and push it over. And then we're going to want to go ahead and twist that. So press E and let's oh, be in object mode. Let's rotate it 35 degrees and then press W and push it over so it's in the mesh. 
let's do this guy negative 35 degrees and then make it so they're a bit even. There we go. If you want it to look like someone had just adjusted them, then you can just um, leave them kind of wonky or in any direction you want. Create another spear, scale that guy down, and he's going to go on top of these antenna like that. Control D is duplicate and just move it over to go on the other one. All right, so now we got the antenna all ready and we've got the feet. Um, you can press three on all of those guys so they all have sub subdivision surfaces on them. And then I think on the back what I want to do is go ahead and select these inside faces like that and um, extrude them and then press them out and maybe scale them in just a smidge so it's like a, a box on the back of your TV. All right, go ahead and select everything that we just edited in object mode. Do mesh combine so it's all one. And then you've got your TV. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about it, let me know. Um, this one's pretty easy. I, I really like it. So if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this model. So let me know if you guys need anything else. Um, I'll see you guys next week for whatever we're making. And thanks for watching as always. Bye guys.